So a big part of your, your journey, if you haven't already come across it, it talks about finding your why. What's your why? And pretty much what that's talking about, it's really making us think about what exactly is it that has brought us to this particular point in our life? Why are we here? And in particular, as it relates to each of our SFM journeys, and you know we we all have a different story to tell right of what brought us to that point was it that we wanted more freedom we wanted to have a better balance in our lives to between our work time and our downtime did we want to create more time quality time to spend with our families and our friends did we want to be able to travel more and not just save like crazy to take two vacations a year and to work the other 48 weeks a year did we want to be able to work from home? There are so many possible whys, and it can be those and a ton of other things. And I, I'm, you know, sh sharing my journey and, and my why. It was all those things and more. For me, my biggest why, and I started to realize it very quickly after I joined the SFM family, that the biggest why for me was in finding a passion that had been missing from my life for a number of years. Now, those of you who've been following my journey at all will know that for a big chunk of my work life, 20 years of my work life, I worked with a cruise line and I absolutely loved what I did. For 20 years, I got to travel the world. You know, I got to educate myself continually because I was working alongside all these other nationalities and different cultures. It was incredible. And I was still passionate about that when I walked away from it at 20 years because much as I loved it, it was preventing me from doing other things. And I couldn't, I couldn't have it all. I couldn't have everything. So when I, when I stepped away from that, I over time tried to replace that with, with another passion. And that took me to Hawaii for a couple of years and Italy for a year. And now here on Grand Cayman in the Caribbean. And I've, I've, it's taken me quite a while to find that replacement for that why and I mean listen I at one point I had set up my own company previously that was in hiring which I didn't have a passion about being honest about it it was a means to an end uh, I worked with the Ritz Carlton an incredible brand I worked with Ritz Carlton down here for a while I didn't have a passion it, it, I, I knew what I was feeling and it wasn't what I knew what I could feel and then I worked in sales for about a year and a half. And then I found the SFM community. And within a week of me starting on the training modules, the way that I explained it to a couple of people at that time was that I'm home. I found my new home. I could feel that passion was going to be absolutely available on my SFM journey that it was going to give me the opportunity to, to work from home and to have that beautiful quality of life to make an, a, an amount of, of money that to be honest I could have dreamed about and, and I had no complaints about what I was earning before but but this this business mod, model gives you way beyond your wildest dreams potentially if you put in the work so I have found out very quickly my why is in finding that passion that just gives me energy when I wake up in the morning. So I encourage you, if you haven't already, to have a think about what your why might be and, and why you're on this, this journey that you've chosen to be on. I say everybody's journey is different. Uh, my company is called Your Journey 101 because I love hearing about your journey and what brought you here. So have a think about it. And for sure, at some point in the future, we're going to be connecting and we're going to be talking about that. But I hope you enjoyed the share and have a great day. And as always, please go gently on yourselves. Thank you so much.